A lot of you guys have been asking for this deck guide. Let's learn how to play Dragapult EX. And we're talking about the Pidgeot EX version. In this video, we're going to go over the deck list, explanation of all the cards, and a gameplay from Pokemon TCG Live. All the timestamps will be down below. Let's start off with the deck list. For the Pokemon, you have four Dreepy, three Dragloak, three Dragapult EX, two Pidgey, two Pidgeot EX, one Rotom V, one Luminion V, one Mana Fee, one Radiant Alakazam. For the supporter, you have four Arvins, three Ionos, one Boss's Order, one Roseanne's Backup, one Professor Turo Scenario, one Mela. For the items, you have four Buddy Buddy Poffin, four Ultra Ball, two Nest Ball, four Rare Candy, two Earthen Vessel, two Counter Catcher, one Super Rod, one Pow Pad, one Lost Vacuum, one Forest Seal Stone, one Defiance Band, one TMD Evolution. For their stadium, we have one Collapse Stadium. For the energies, we have Neo Upper Energy, three Psychic, and two Fire. And here's the overview of the deck. Now let's go over every single card and why it's in there. Dragapult EX is the main attacker of this deck. We mainly use the second attack, Phantom Dive. For one fire energy and one psychic, it does 200 damage. Plus, you can put six damage counters on your opponent's bench Pokemon in any way you like. The attack is really strong to knock out multiple Pokemon. And his first attack, Jet Headbutt, for one colorless energy, it does 70 damage. Sometimes if you don't have enough energy for the second attack, you can use the first attack. Let's talk a little bit about the first evolution, Dracloak. Dracloak is considered your draw engine. With this ability, Recon Directive, once we're turning, look at the top two cards of your deck, choose one and put the other one on the bottom of the deck. Very good for getting cards you need. Pidgeot EX is mainly there for his ability, Quick Search. Once per turn, you can search your deck for one card and add it to your hand. This is very good to get any cards you want in a certain situation or get the Neo Upper Energy, which we'll talk about more later in the video. Before we move on to the next Pokemon, we gotta talk about Pidgey. Pidgey first attack call for family is actually useful sometimes. For one energy, you can search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon and put them onto their bench. If you go in second, this is really good to help you set up. Rotom V is there for its ability, Instant Charge, which lets you draw three cards, but it ends your turn. This card is mainly there for your first turn. Next, we have Luminion V, which we also only use for its ability, which lets you search for one supporter from your deck and add it to your hand. Mana Fee is there to protect your bench Pokemon from attacks. Radiant and Kazam is there to help you move damage around with its ability. Which state, once per turn, you may move two damage counters from one Pokemon to another Pokemon. Let's talk about the supporters. Arvin lets you search for an item and a tool card. This card is really good to help set up your board, or help you get an item card for any situation. Iono lets you draw and disrupt your opponent. Boss Order lets you switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon to the active. Roseanne's Backup lets you do up to four things. You can recycle one Pokemon, tool card, stadium, or energy from the discard pile back into the deck. You can do all four or just whatever you need. The main reason we're running this card is because of Neo Upper Energy. We'll talk more about this energy later, but this card is really good for Dragapult EX. Professor Toro lets you put one Pokemon in play back into your hand, but you have to discard all card attached. This card is really good against stall or bring back Pokemon that is already damaged. Mela lets you attach one fire energy from the discard pile to one of your Pokemon and you draw until you have six cards, but you can only use it if your Pokemon was knocked out last turn. It's a good card to accelerate energy to your Dragapult EX. Let's talk about the items now. Buddy Poffin, Nest Ball, and Ultra Ball helps you search out your Pokemon. Buddy Poffin lets you search out Dreepy, Pidgey, and Manaphy. Nest Ball is for Radiant and Kazam and Rotom V, or any other basic Pokemon you're looking for. Ultra Ball helps you search out Dracloak, Dragapult EX, Pidgeot EX, and Luminion V, or any other Pokemon you're currently searching for. Red Candy lets you skip an evolution, which is why we're not running the middle evolution of Pidgeot EX. Earthen Vessel lets you search out two energies from your deck and add it to your hand by discarding one card from your hand. Counter Catcher lets you switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon to the active, but you have to have have more prize card than your opponent to use this. Super Rod lets you recycle energy and Pokemon. Pal Pad lets you recycle supporters. Lost Vacuum is there to get rid of your opponent's tool. A lot of decks in the meta right now have a lot of tools, so this is a pretty good card. Forest Seal Storm has a V Star ability that lets you search out one card from your deck and add it to your hand. Since it's a V Star ability, you can only use it once per game, and it has to attach to a Pokemon V for you to use it. Defiance Bands lets you do 30 more damage, as long as you have more prize card than your opponent. A lot of the times we're always behind one prize card. TMD Evolution is there to de-evolve your opponent's Pokemon. And for the stadium, we're only running one, the Collapse Stadium. When it's in play, you and your opponent can only have four Pokemon in the bench. The main reason this card is here is to get rid of your Rotom V or Luminion V. Basically, any liability on the bench. Lastly, let's talk about the energy, which is also our ace spec, Neo Upper Energy. If this energy is attached to a stage 2 Pokemon, it provides every type of energy but only provides two at a time, which is why this card is so good for Dragapult EX. It's a stage 2 and a second attack only needs two energy, so all you need is the Neo Upper Energy and you're able to attack already. But in case that fails, you still have Psychic and Fire Energy in your deck. Alright, let's check out gameplay from Pokemon TCG Live. Before I show you the gameplay, I do want to say I do want to go first with this deck, just because I want to set up my board and start attacking next turn. And if you have any question about this deck, please let me know in the comments. Alright, let's get into the gameplay. Alright, let's get into the game. Let's see, we choose heads, because we're always going to get heads. And we're going to choose to go first, because with this deck, you want to set up your board and at least attach one energy if you can. That way, next turn, you can either rare candy evolve into the Dragapult EX and attack right away. We only have a Pidgey to start, but we do have Buddy Buddy Poffin. So this is a good sign. And then we have Iono to reset our hand next turn because our hand's kind of dead. Let's see what our opponent is playing. 
It looks like not to, so I'm guessing it's Dragapult with Saw 2. We have two Buddy Buddy Puffin. That's that's amazing. So we get two Dreepy. Use our second Buddy Buddy Puffin. Get another Dreepy. Uh, realistically, if we can get Rotom V out here, it would be really good. But unfortunately, we couldn't. So we have four Dreepy just chilling on the bench. And we know since they're playing Dragapult as well, they cannot attack the first turn. So our Pidgey is safe for sure. That's why I didn't put out another Pidgey. But if, if it was a deck that can attack first turn like Raging Bolt, I would probably put another Pidgey just in case he knocks it out. Looks like they have a two Dreepy start. Decided to retreat with Natu using the Rescue Board. And they did not attach the energy, so we're kind of ahead. Arvin is good here, but should we use Arvin or should we just Iono here? Because even with Arvin, we can't really get anything. I th yep, we decide to Iono here. Hopefully we hit. So we did hit a Drag Cloak, which we can draw. We can also get Luminion, but we already supported this turn. Let's see what we can get with the Recon. We got the Rare Candy. But we still need either Pidgeot EX or Energy. I think I just decide to Rare Candy one of the Dreepies here. Because I know he still won't be able to attack next turn. The question is, do I attach this Fire Energy to the Dragapult? Or attach it to Pidgey and Retreat? Yes, I'm going to attach to the Pidgey and Retreat. So our Pidgey is still safe for one turn. Deciding what to put here, but I know for sure he can knock out my Dragapult, so we're still in good hands. Luckily, we're going against a mirror, so it's kind of a slower pace because this deck is not really like super intense. All right, more Buddy Poffin. Will he get another Zatu? Okay, he has four Dreepies in play as well. Let's see what else he can do. He got the Rotom V. Will he just insta charge? I think he's just going to instant charge. Okay, he draws three. Now it's our turn. We have Luminion, so we can get Arvin. We get Arvin. We can also get... Oh, we can our Recon first, of course. You always Recon first. There's the Rare Candy. So now we can for sure Luminion down. Get Arvin and... Uh, Forest System. So Arvin will get Ultra Ball. I believe we get Ultra Ball. I'm right. I think I'm checking to see if we have the Neo Upper Energy here first. If I'm smart. Yep. Check for the Neo Upper Energy. We do have it. So put the Forest Seal down. I will Ultra Ball. Oh, I decided to just use the Forest Seal Stone to get the Pitch Out EX here. So we rare candy for the Pidgeot, and then we use Pidgeot's ability to get the new upper energy. And with that one A spec energy, we're able to use Phantom Dive, which is Dragapult EX second attack. Put the new upper energy down. We get to kill a Dreepy, and we get to do 60 damage spread across the bench. I think I'm gonna get another Drag Cloak here. That way. Next turn, I still have some more draw power. I can actually draw even more this turn, actually. So draw two. We pick one, put one on the bottom of the deck. I think I'm going to go with the Psychic. Yeah, we don't need Mana Fee in this game at all. We attack the Dreepy, put 50 on the Natu. And then we put, put 10 on the Dreepy with the energy, because... He's most likely gonna attack with that one next. So we get a little a little chip chip damage, you know. Get two prize. Our two prizes looking pretty good. We can evolve our Dreepy next turn again. And we can also attach a psychic energy. And if he decides to knock out like one of my one prize or even the Lumineon, we have Mela, which I believe we do have a fire energy in the discard pile. 
He's definitely in a sticky situation. I don't know why he put up the Rotom V. He got the rare candy, okay. But now he needs a switch and a psychic energy in order to attack. What will he do here? Put up another not too, okay. If he does attack with Dragon Ball EX, next turn I think we would just Pidgeot EX for a boss order and bring up the Rotom V. We're able to take three prize, so we knock out the Rotom V and the not too on the bench and then put more damage on the Dragon Ball EX. But yeah, let's see what he does here. He's taking a little while. He's probably thinking. How do I come back from this? Anytime now. Oh, and he's conceded. That is very short, so we're probably gonna do another gameplay. All right, on to game number two, because that one was way too short. Let's see, our opponent is deciding on the coin flip. I hope they lose so we can go first. They choose heads. Or did they choose head? I didn't read it. They did choose head. Okay. Let's see if they let us go first. They will go first, which is still fine. We can still set up our board even going second. We only have one Dreepy. Very unfortunate. And they start with the Minion, so we have no idea what deck they're playing yet. But. I think my turn, I do have to Ultra Ball for it. I would probably get a Luminion if I it's not prized to get Arvin instead of my board. All right, here's the Nest Ball. Let's see what they're playing. Raining Kurninja. That could be any deck, but with Luminion V, it might be, oh, Earthen Vest. Actually, we still don't know what deck that would be. Dark Energy. Dark Energy. Lightning Energy. What deck are you even going against? Okay, conceal cards. Discard one energy, draw two. Oh, it's Rory Mooney X. Okay. Why is there a lightning energy? I'm very confused. I think we're still fine. As long as he doesn't target our two prizer. I decided to attach here. I feel like I'm gonna Iono. I Ultra Ball first, get rid of the Fire and Boss. Cause if, if I'm gonna Iono, I might as well put another Pokemon in place, just in case I don't hit like a Buddy Buddy Poffin or Nest Ball. All right, we Iono. Fresh six card hand. And we hit Buddy Buddy Poffin, which is really good. And we have the Mela, that's why we discarded the Fire Energy, because if he knocks out a Pokemon, we can just Mela, and then we should be good to go. I attached the TM Devo because we don't need that in this matchup, and then we hit him for 10 damage. Just for funsy, that 10 damage realistically wouldn't matter unless we got Radiant Alkazam out, and we can move the damage around. Let's see what they do here, put down another Rune Moon. I'm guessing they have Sada in hand, right? This is a very weird deck. I don't know what the lightning energy is for, even though this is pre-recorded, like I play the game first and then I record again. I kind of forgot why there's a lightning energy. And there's a fighting energy. Yeah, when I was playing this game, I was like, I was so confused. Like I've seen Rory Moon still people playing like the turbo version with water energy for raining for ninja, but I do not see a fighting and lightning. So right now he just needs a switch or a, a energy. No, he needs a switch because he already attached the energy for turn, I believe. Yep, there's a switch card, our 10 damage becomes zero because switch card heals 30 and he's just gonna calamity storm here i guess which is so good that we have mela in hand and the fire energy in our discard pile 
And hopefully we can set up next turn though, because our hand's looking rough. We just need to either hit a Pidgeot EX or a um, Raging, no, not Raging Bolt, Dragapult EX. And they're running Raging Bolt, okay. That's why they have the Fighting and Lightning. Very interesting deck, I would say. I'll consider this a rogue. They're just standing here so they can use Mew EX ability to draw three, I believe. Yep. I'm not sure what they're digging for, though. I think they're just trying to get resources into their hand. Yep, the Calamity Storm knocks out. We're going to put one Treepy up. They only got one prize, but... If we're able to somehow bring up that Luminion V, or even the Mew EX, it'd be good. Earthen Vessel, not too bad, but we only run so little count of the regular energy, so I, that's why I didn't want to get rid of this current Psyche in my hand. We hit a Drag Cloak, which is not bad, and we also hit Ultra Ball. So we can get Pidgeot EX if we need to. But let's use the Dragloak ability first to see what we get before we do anything. And there's the Pidgeot. So we're able to get both out. So we can rare candy the Pidgeot. Use Pidgeot's ability to get a rare candy again. And then Ultra Ball away. Probably the Ultra Ball, the Earthen Vessel, and I would say the Arvin. Just because we can Iono him. Next turn, refresh our hand again. Yep, sounds about right. So when we attack here, I know Roar Moon EX can knock us out completely, but if we put like three damage on the Roar Moon EX in the back, and then he has damage in the front right here, he's if he knocks us out, he also knocks himself out. Yeah, I decided to put some damage on the Raging Bolt. That way we can just one-shot him later with uh, Dragon Ball EX. Wonder what he would do here. I think another smart play might be to put dam uh, 90 damage total on the Roaring Moon EX just in case they have a another capsule they can put on him so he wouldn't be knocked out completely. But we do run one Lost Vacuum. So even if he attacks with the second one, hopefully we can hit the Lost Vacuum, get rid of his capsule. That way we can take like four prizes in one turn. If we're able to get, get another Dragon Ball EX out, of course. He attached one energy to the Raging Bolt, so I guess he's setting that up. Did he Sada? I think he's searching for Asada. Asada and a switch maybe and attack with Raging Bull. There's the Earthen Vessel. I think his... He can still use Raiding uh, Greninja's ability to draw two by discarding one energy. Which I'm guessing is what he's going to do next. Yep, Conceal Cards. rid of the lightning so if he's Sada he can Sada into the Raging Bolt. Oh he bosses ordered me. He decides to pick my Pidgeot EX which means he's still gonna knock himself out. But I guess it denies me the quick search. This is very interesting in my opinion. <laughs> He's thinking, yep, he's gonna Frenchy gouge me, which knocks himself out. He gets two prize and I get two prize. And then if I can get a boss order, because I'm guessing he's gonna put up either Raging Bolt or Raiding Greninja. What will he do? I'm guessing it's, I feel like it's Raiding Greninja, right? Because I have to take a one prizer. What will he choose? 
Yep, raiding for ninja seems like the right move. We have Alakazam, which is not bad. Deciding if I want to put it down or use it for Ultra Ball Father. Yeah, put it down. I think I would Iono in this situation, right? He goes down to three cards. I go down to four, but I still have uh, Drag Cloak. Draw more. With buddy Buddy Poffin. Get out our Pidgey again. We're out of Treepy, unfortunately. So let's do Recon. I'm searching for... I don't think it matters what I get here. I'm searching for a counter catcher here. Be really good if we can get a counter catcher. No counter catcher. We don't need Roseanne's backup, but we'll take it anyways. So we're just gonna attack him, knock him out. We'll be down to three prize. But even if he knocks me out with Dragapult EX, he's still down to one prize. And then that leaves him with, he can't even knock me out unless he set, set up another Rory Moon EX. Yeah, right here I just put 90 damage in case he has a capsule. So if he does decide to knock me out with that Rory Moon, at least I take two prize there. We got Dragapult EX in our hand, and we have Rare Candy to summon our Pidgeot EX. So we're in good hands, unless he Ionos us, or Roxanne. But I did Iono him, so hopefully that slows him down for a little bit. There's the capsule. Good thing we put damage on that Roar Moon EX. I wonder if he'll decide to just knock me out with the Roar Moon EX. Cause it seems like his, his hand's pretty dead. Two cards in hand, he's gonna try to dump as much cards so he can use Mew's EX ability restart to draw up to three. What is he thinking here? He has the energy switch, so he's is planning to attack with the Roman EX? No. He's putting on to Mew. Oh, he's just letting out his hand. Okay. I see. Draw three. Maybe he's trying to just Calamity Storm one of my back row. I'm really confused on what he's trying to do. <laughs> or I guess he kills me with Rormoon EX. So we both get two prize. And then he's hoping I don't have a boss or I can't set up another Dragon Ball EX. And then he'll probably just put up the Raging Bolt EX here. Yep, it looks like he's gonna attack with the Romoon EX. I guess I can't even counter catch her since we'll be at the same price. So I need a boss. Knocks me out. I'm gonna promote either my Pidgey because I know I, it's a free retreat since I'm gonna rare candy, or I just do the drag cloak here. So we have Forest in hand and we have Ultra Ball. So we can get out Luminion to get a boss. Because we need to use Save Pidgeot's EX ability to get the Neo Upper Energy here. He did promote the Rage Full EX, which is a lot of damage to get through. Very candy to the Pidgeot. I think I'm drawing here to see if I can hit the Neo Upper Energy or any of the cards I need before I use Pidgeot EX's ability. Counter Catcher. I got it, but I, I think during this moment when I was playing, I didn't realize we were still at the same. Uh, prize card, so I can't even get it. And right here, we do have Lost Vacuum, we do have Neo Upper Energy, but we don't have a boss order, which I don't think I was checking during the playthrough. Because in, in my head, I think I'm playing to Ultra Ball for Lumineon right here. Yeah, this is my mistake. You should always check your deck for the cards you need whenever you can uh, search your deck. 
So I messed up big time right here. I realized there's no boss order. So I believe I get the Iono. And then I'm gonna, I haven't supported her yet this turn, I believe. So I'll probably use Arvin to get rid of his um, Ancient Booster Capsule at least. Yeah, I think my other boss is prize. Retreat. Right, I think. No, we only have one boss. We could Arvin for Lost Vacuum or a Pow Pad. I don't even remember if we saw Pow Pad in the deck. I think it's oh okay so i lost vacuum here and then i'm probably gonna iono right makes sense put him down to just one card and then next turn if he can't do anything i just radiant echo zam the damage over into raging bolt yeah this seems like a this seems like a good play I don't even know why I nest ball there. I, I knew how we were out of tree peas. Yeah, it doesn't really matter where the damage goes, so I just split it in half. Because next turn, if he can't retreat, even if he retreats, we just radiate on Kazam, one of the damage over. Or we can just attack again if he can't do anything. It's pretty much GG at this point, but let's see what he can do here. I have no cards in hand, he only has two. He restarts for one. I think the only other plan is just like boss up my Radiant Alakazam and stall. Because it is it is two energies to retreat. He hits the Sada. But can he do it? What can he do here? Attach one energy. There's a Roaring Moon. What else can he do? He's thinking real hard right now. Anytime now. Okay, he ultra balls. What else can he get out? The energy switch in. Professor Sada. He's running out of Sadas too. Ooh, Sandy Shock. So technically he could have attacked if he had like a lightning energy in hand, but it still doesn't do enough damage. Yeah, like we just moved 10 damage counters from one of the Mu EX. Or even the Lumineon V to the Raging Bull, and that's game. Or I can just attack again. But we're gonna have fun. If he doesn't FF, I'll just Radiant Alakazam just for fun. And there is the FF. I hope you guys learn a little something from these gameplays. That is it for this guy, but there will be plenty more coming soon. But in the meantime, you guys can check out my other videos right over here. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to give this video a like. And if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 50,000 subs. Thank you.